If the alien landed, what do I think its intentions would be? Are they here to hurt us? Take some resource that we have that they don't? Do they want the water on the planet? So I think it'd just be like an ET sort of situation. It's like alone and it's scared. Who knows? I, I don't, but it's terrifying. Maybe it's like fleeing its, you know, oppressive planet or something. It was definitely not shooting stars or comments because they were made. The 7-Eleven guy um, kept making these, like, noises, like... I was like, oh shit. Signatures of alien spacecrafts are fast speed. So they're not talking to me. It's it's like they're just beaming what they're saying straight into my head. They're saying, you know, it's it's penis inspection day. Yeah, like kinda like cats. The weird part is they don't even they don't even look at my penis. They don't look at it, they don't look in it. It's like they're just here to fuck with me. Just means I'm dying, cloaking. You see this? You see this right you see that? See that right there? Every time I got my phone camera out to record, they would disappear behind the stars. Yeah, I don't know, I guess I'll just watch Men in Black to see if they're going. It's a scary time, especially here in San Diego, near the airplanes, near the Air Force, and uh... I guess my first question is why? Why are we doing aliens? I thought that we were bird watchers. We had a good thing going with the bird watching stuff, why do we have to change it now? I mean, we just... Miles. There's so many birds out there, why... There's all this red well, tape with birds. We couldn't capture them. We couldn't all oh, put little clothes on them. You want to put little clothes on a bird? I want. To, I don't know why you're so obsessed with birds. It's kind of weird, to be honest with you. But let me just go through my little idea here. The the thing that I've worked really hard on. You gonna open it or? I. Right. It says alien zoo. Are we capture an alien. We start a legitimate business. Are they throwing things at him? I don't. Yeah, well, they're they're drinking, and you know how people get. Um. What is that one? That was that was nothing. There's no no really need to look at that one. Is right he now. crying in that one? He's crying. Well, he's sad, Miles. Not all, not all business is pretty. But it probably beats working in an Amazon warehouse, am I right? Not that we're going to pay him. I, and here's the thing, these are just preliminary alien ideas. La alien labor, $500 an hour, that's what that one says. It'd be pretty cool to have like an alien breaking your leaves. Right? You get one bird, you get nothing in this game. You get one alien. I got a charge on my card for $6,000 for a corral. And then I had to cancel my card. I don't, I don't have a new one yet. We are going to be revolutionaries. Admiration, groupies, money, cars, fast car. The city of full of dumb idiots who don't know what's going on, they will be begging us, please let me see your alien. Let me get a whiff of that alien. All those people who bullied us, called us nerds, called us stupid, told us, stop Stop watching me through my window or I'll call the police. Ah, the great outdoors. Miles was still a little resistant to this alien idea. Luckily, my manager at Amazon showed me how to manipulate people. <laughs> One time he got me to miss my grandma's funeral. Never let your employees think that their work is not important. The Palomar Mountain Area and the Palomar Observatory are known for being extraterrestrial hotspots. In the early 1960s, George Adamski began holding UFO conferences here. He said he saw over 200 UFOs in this area, and unfortunately was accused of being a liar and charlatan. But no matter what you believe, 200 sightings? There's no way he was making all of them up. I decided to tap into our budget to buy a dog. Dogs are known to be incredibly sensitive to UFOs and paranormal activity. This money making machine was only $500. Plus a few hundred for toys, treats, a dog bed, a dog TV, and a dog premium cable setup. A captured alien is valued over a million, which more than covers these business expenses. She, she, she's not listening. You're up, up. Only 15 minutes into our journey and we see something we can't identify. What, what is that? What could that possibly be? 
It has to be. I don't even know. I can already tell. Today's gonna be a good day. You're gonna get a UFO today? You're gonna find a UFO? Gentle. That's a good girl. Come on, treat. Gentle. So I, I don't know a lot about dog training, but I'm just kind of wondering like, is she listening to you because she's getting the treats or because she's getting ready to find a UFO? I. Well, I gave her a treat because she's a good girl right now, um, but she will find a UFO. She'll, she will find a UFO. Dogs are fit. She's, a, she's perfectly trained. Perfectly trained uh, UFO finding dog. Sit. <laughs> yep. It just seems like she's kind of focusing on the food. I don't. Well, anyways, um, let's not focus on the dog right now. We're here at the Palomar Observatory, just, okay. a telescope that's known to spot UFOs. I mean, this, this it observatory says it's is... I don't know. This observatory, it used to spot UFOs like every day. No one talks about it, but it's just, it's just, uh, um, it's public record really at this point. Gentle. Anyways, and it is closed. Why is it closed? It's 3 p.m. on a Saturday and it's closed. What are they trying to hide? They were, they are saying maintenance. That's what I told you. And then remember when we get like an hour ago in the little town, I said, is the Palomar Observatory Exactly. Off? Maintenance. That could be they, anything. They said maintenance. I told you maintenance. How is it? You, you made me drive all the way up here. You know, I have noticed the, the signals, my cell phone signal. I barely get anything out here. What's why? I'm not saying it's aliens, but I got no signal. I have a signal everywhere else. And in a place known to that UFOs frequent, all of a sudden now my signal's lost. Oh, you got all your treats. Let's keep going. Um, perhaps if we get out into the wilderness, we'll find an alien. So far, all I've been seeing is birds. It's like, where were these birds when we were uh, trying to look for birds? Now we're looking for UFOs. All we can find is birds. The park ranger asked us to not have our dog in that area, so we moved to a new part of the mountain. But then that one says that they are just on leash. Just from everything that I've seen about this area, it seems like it would actually be a much better... It'd be a much better place to look for birds. Birds? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, I think we already did birds, so we're going to just focus on the aliens since Palomar Mountain Observatory, you know, Adam Mansky, all that alien UFOs, that's why we're here. Like, who cares about the birds? What? I mean, all right, I guess. Uh, so she's just gonna lead the way? Uh, yeah. Come on, let's find a UFO. A sign told us dogs weren't allowed on the trail either, so we just went to the pond. UFOs are often attracted to water because it's a natural food source for aliens. The abundance of life here for them to abduct, it's abundant. And that's what the aliens love about it. The same as any sort of predatory animal, they take advantage of a water source to uh, ambush their prey. And I'm assuming, you know, not as, I know aliens, they so work in the same way. They're predatory? I, I wasn't aware they were predatory. Well, any intelligent life is. There's, it looks like there's some ducks over there. Do you think that that's what the, you said the aliens are predatory. I think it's kind of an interesting thought. You want to expand on that? I haven't, I haven't heard that before. Like, are they eating the ducks or what do they, what do you think they're eating? Eating? You said oh no, I don't, I don't think they're predatory like, like lions. I think they're predatory, you know, like, like Cosby kind of. They probably, I mean, they probably just go to restaurants or whatever, like everybody else for food. They're intelligent. Come on, Miles. <laughs> you're so you're so naive when it comes to certain things. I'm just gonna film the ducks for a second, I think. Yeah, I bet you will. I, it seems like you're you're uh, you're just like the aliens. Well, what does that mean? 
I don't know. It's just this whole time seemed like you're really into the birds. Like a little Yeah, I like little. birds. They're pretty. Everybody likes birds. They're pretty? Yeah. What do you... I mean, they're colorful. They're not pretty. I'm, I just like them because they're, they're nice. They're just... They're, they're fun to look at. I mean, it... A lot of denial. In your... Uh, I, I don't. I don't like what you're implying. I really don't. I don't think that we should use any of this stuff. I won't bring it up anymore. But just if I had a parrot, you're not coming over. I just kind of going back to the bird thing. I don't really want you to insinuate what you're insinuating about me being attracted to birds. It doesn't really doesn't really add anything to the channel. It just kind of seems, uh, you know, a little mean. You hear that? No. She hears it. She's, she, she's on the trail right now. We gotta go. She is on the trail. I think that she just led us on a trail that went around the lake, and now we're back to the parking lot. Um. Well, I have food and I have treats in the car, and she knows that, so she's naturally gonna always want to be headed back there. So, it looks like aliens ha I mean, there's no other explanation for this pool. There's, it's in the middle of nowhere. And? It's way too cold to want to go swim in a pool. Well. For a human. For a human. Miles. What's up? What do you, you got something? Yeah. I uh, found this in my car. Let's go. Uh... Where's the dog? Uh, I guess I'm just kind of wondering what your dog's gone. Did you just want me to watch you? play basketball or something here's the thing do you know why the dog's gone I think you lost it <laughs> no I don't even remember I don't even remember anything about it so I think this proves I think she got abducted uh, that's that's one theory I think you know what I think you're getting abducted by aliens is a slam dunk. Oh, did you get that? Did you get that? I got it. <coughs> That's great. We'll cut that in with the slam dunk line. It's gonna be perfect. I think we should just get back to the to the aliens or yeah, if you make a shot, we'll get back to the aliens. I just want to see you. not my sport. I just, I just, it's just, you know, I, I was able to do it. So cool. we'll get back to the aliens as soon as you make, make a shot. One shot. Okay. Yeah. No Whoa. I'm just warming up. I thought I saw I'm just warming up, so I'll get it in a second. I thought I saw something. Okay. Where'd it go? Basketball's really not my sport. Oh. Huh. Okay, let me make one real fast, and we'll go investigate whatever that is. All right, and... I was a wreck about the dog, but without the dog, we could go deeper into the woods where I knew there would be aliens to trap. So, what are you doing? Uh, what do you mean, what am I doing? I mean, it's kind of late now. We're out here in the dark in the woods. I don't really... I'm using these crystals to summon the aliens. These crystals possess intriguing magical properties. Well, what's up with that one, dude? What do you mean? It's a family heirloom passed down through my family for generations. Looks a little... I mean... It's for healing. You know what it... 
Can I just go on with the rituals to summon these aliens? Aliens, aliens, let's have a few little aliens. I don't even know what I'm... We didn't find any aliens, but we did find... She-Ra! Come here, girl. What a sweet dog, man. You must be so happy, huh? Yeah, I guess I just have a dog now. Just that there is aliens, but that they're here. They're um, using us for their pleasure, and they're on Palomar Mountain. Do you think it's possible they exist and they're not using us for something sexual? I mean, if you look at a human, what else really are they good for? I'm just trying to look at Friend, it. Friendship? I, just, I don't know. I don't know. Drive. Let's just focus on I don't know what their objective is. Okay, maybe we should just kind of mellow out on that. All right, great. On the area. Right, turn off the light then. Miles watched the rest of the footage and got really upset. He started talking about how his whole life was a lie and how we pushed it too far. Probably because we didn't find any aliens and it was completely his fault. Poor guy. Um going on <laughs> I, don't, I don't i honestly like the car is so stupid like it, it i'll start it it'll go for a little bit and then it just shuts off here why why what do you want what do you we're want? in the middle of a field and it's like seven o'clock in the morning i don't know how we got here oh well, that's good we're up at seven yeah i uh I wake up in field sometimes i'm an alcoholic what it's uh it's not so what are we, what are we doing? Are we filming today? That's good to be up early. I think we, uh, I'm usually not up this early. Feels good to get a jump on the day. None of this seems strange to you at all. I don't, I don't remember anything about. There's Palomar Mountain. I think that we can go up there, probably get some good footage of, uh, of some birds. Come on sisters, let's go down, come on. Sisters, let's go down, down in the valley to pray. I went down in the valley to pray and studying about that good old way. And who shall wear the starry crown? Good Lord, show me the way. I'm just gonna call out sick today. We got a whole day to film.